right, y'all, so we're going to talk to y'all about a $6 million play. So this year, what we did was we was able, between January and now, we was able to generate $3 million in the stock market. And so now the goal is I think that I can end the year at about $6 million in the options account. So y'all know every week we drop what's called the option portfolio on this network. Now, I want y'all to look at the Wall Street looks like us in our network so you can check out Trapping Tuesdays. But each week we drop that portfolio so you can see an in-depth look at it. So with six months left in the year, I would practically need to make about $1 million every 90 days. Right, with six months left in the year, I would practically need to generate a million dollars in my account every 90 days. So the goal for me is by the end of this year, 2024, uh, we want to, I'm projecting that we can do $6 million. Right, so well, get the account to six million dollars. Let me make sure I say that right because y'all gonna be like, eh, you know, y'all be finding little bitty things to call people liars about. So, the goal is to get the account. We started this year at 1.5 million, right now, we're roughly between 4 million and 4.2 million. We saw the high of 4.8 million, so I think we can try to do some things. And today, what I want to do is bring y'all inside of some of the things that I plan on doing so y'all can see it. So make sure you like, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, anybody in the chat that's talking to you about Bitcoin, telling you to go to Woods app, that's not me. These people have gotten really good. They've gotten really clever at cloning my pages, the following. So I know it's extremely hard to determine what's not, but I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? I hate that this part of the game is what it is, but you know, let's rock with it. So. As of right now, we are in a lot of, we are in right now about 28 plays right now in the options market, right? So what we gonna look for moving forward is quality, movement. We gonna even, we gonna give it another word too. We gonna say accelerated. We gonna look for accelerated movement. Quality, accelerated movement. And September dip. So these are gonna be catalysts to that, but also one of the catalysts is gonna be rate cuts. So these are gonna be the four things. When the accelerated movement, the September dip, and rate cuts are gonna be pivotal to us getting there, right? So one of the things we're gonna to do too is we're going to watch this. We're going to optimize high risk movers. All right, so what do I mean by that? So there are certain companies in the market that are not necessarily risky, but based on the price and based on the vitality of it, that can keep certain people away. So one of the things I tell my people all the time is we never want the market to price us out. We never want the market to price us out. So that's one of the things we never want. So honestly, I enjoy looking for those stocks that like companies like, so when we was in the Patreon group, one of the companies we made the most money on outside of it just being NVIDIA was AVGO. Why? Because this stock can move anywhere between $20 to $70 in a day. Anywhere between $20 to $70 in a day. We've even had one day where it actually moved, I want to say like $96. Right? So that's optimizing risk right here. But at the same time, we've seen a stock go down like $88 in a day. Right, so now that's saying, how do I increase my capacity to be in option plays that move like this because they're not cheap, right? So I think one time we got an NVIDIA, I mean, an AVGO play, and it was literally $13,000 for a contract. And I had 20 of them. You know what I'm saying? So one of the things we're gonna do is, but because I understood how they moved, because I understood that it moved in, 30, 40, 50, 60 dollar increments, I was cool with that. Now here's the thing, because they're gonna do a 10 to one stock split, they're not gonna move the same. Because now, 
it's not gonna give me that eighty dollar pop. It's gonna take that away from me. It's still gonna be a great stock. It's still not the, the way the option move. Not going because it's gonna go ten to one. It's not gonna give me a eighty dollar move in one day now, right? Think about it. And I want you to pay attention to this. Since Nvidia has split, it hasn't given you those sixty dollar days no more. It's giving you maybe a five dollar day, a three dollar day, because those splits actually affect the stock moving like it was before because now it's more of those pieces that have to move so now that money has to get split up into more pieces so it won't move like that so one of the companies that we've been in now that we making money off in the group is a company KALC KLAC right the stock is rather expensive compared when you think about it from a dollar perspective but it's not expensive compared to a value perspective and so this one has been moving to another one that I'm gonna be looking at is NVR this is a seven thousand dollar stock right why because the stock moves 130 to 160 dollars a day right so we talk about getting in movers so well trap I can't afford that I can't cool I understand it that's why I told you how I plan on getting my thing to six million dollars right you don't have to be in these you can be in the apples you can be in the nvidia's you can be in the um you know the other stocks but the, the this is one of the things i love is being in companies like this because they move you know 70 80 90 dollars a day and because they move like that it allows my options to move like that you feel what i'm saying so that's one of the things we're gonna do. So some of my people in the Patreon, you see, um, if you're in the Patreon group, we got in that KLAC, and like day one, we was up like $1,000. I was up like $1,000 on like eight contracts. You know what I'm saying? I think right now we're probably up like $5,000, but it's because the way it moves. So one of the things that's important for me is optimizing the movers. That's important. So mind you, the way that I teach this and the way I see the game is completely different from anybody that plays the game. This is not book information for me. So I, have, I haven't read this in a book and I haven't taken an options course. Um, I saw one time somebody say, man, Trap went to Field Town. I did go to Field Town. I paid him $16,000, but guess what I found out? He wasn't the person to teach me. Not saying he was a bad teacher. He's a great teacher, but he wasn't the person to teach me. His method wasn't what I adapted to. Not, and here's what we feel to realize sometimes too is, just because a person isn't a good teacher for us doesn't mean that they're not a great teacher. I still would never say nothing bad about it. That was six years ago I went to him, but it didn't work for me. Like I, I wasn't catching the way he was explaining the options game. You know what I'm saying? So. So everything I've learned about the options market and option game, it came from literally like, all right, trial and error. Let's put the money in here and let's, uh, let's maneuver from here, right? Because I knew that my emotion to money was different than most people. So everything I'm gonna teach you, you're not gonna get up here and see me teach you about data and gamma and all these other Greeks and all that because for me, only two things make sense to me. Delta, how my money moving as the stock going up and down and data, how my money moves as it gets closer to the expiration date, how does time work against me? Those are pretty much the only two things that I worry about. I don't worry about the other Greeks, but that's just me. That's just me, that's just the way that I teach, it's just the way that I understand the game. You gotta ask yourself this question when you plan this game. Do you wanna be a successful day trader? Do you wanna be a successful swing trader? Or do you want you to be successful at making money in the market? And I think that's the line where people get caught. Like I wanna be a, well my day trading skills, and or, well my swing trading skills, look, do you, do you and you can, be, you can be good at that, you can be good at that. My goal is just to make money in the market. And I love going against everything that everyone has been taught because this is straight up my idea. So, so it's companies like this that move a lot and then companies like NVR that's gonna really take us where we gotta go at. Don't get me wrong, NVIDIA can still be an amazing company, the stock can still be phenomenal, but I just don't think it's gonna move the same and it can't move the same because it did a, it did a stock split. So now those big, huge swings that it used to have and now it has to be divided into more shares that the company has to offer. I hope that makes sense to what we're saying. So those stock splits may be good to make things affordable, but it also takes away from some stuff we'll be doing. So one of the companies I'm also looking at is bookings. Right? Because I want to see, I got to get back in the lab and pay attention to how this company moves stock price. Does it move in bunches? That's going to be important for me to take this account to $6 million. Now, of course, 
I can easily say, yeah, I'm going to go get a bunch of shares and a bunch of contracts. But I like to be real methodical and I like to be real strategic in how we play this game. Right? So that's quality. Right? Also, one of the things we know, one of the things we talked about, talk to you, I just showed you about quality and I just showed you about optimizing um, runners. Another thing we're going to talk to you about is September dip. Now, one of the things we need to be we really need to be in position for is, and I'm talking slow right here, I'm not like all in your face because I want you to really um, take this information in. I want you to watch it over again. I want you to like, damn, I see what Trap's talking about. Like, damn, that okay, it makes sense. Another company, I'm not gonna lie, that's really gonna do us good, is probably gonna be Meta. Like, Meta is probably gonna do us really good, um, as well as, watch this, Crowd, Meta, Service now. These companies probably gonna do us really good this quarter. These companies gonna do us really good this quarter. They're gonna do us really good this quarter. I can guarantee you that. Let's talk about this September dip right quick. So over the last few years, one of the things I've learned, and then after I did my research, I realized that September is the worst month in the market. So one of the things that we're gonna have to do is, and one of the things I teach my group is we're gonna have to position ourselves in late. Watch this. Late July and mid August. So one thing we're gonna need to do is in late July this month, we need to be setting at least three to five companies that we won't go all in on in September. Hear me. We need anywhere between three to five companies that we wanna go all in on in September. Why do we wanna look at it in July? Because in July, what we wanna start doing is coming up with our form that's in the Options Masterclass, and we wanna start setting price points. Right, we wanna start setting price points. If we can start setting price points now, and then those price points that we set now, we can say, okay, here's where it was here in July. Right, here's where it was here in, you know, you put, late July. Here's where it was in late July. Boom. Here's where it was second week of August. Here, here where it was last week of August. Boom. Now, we don't always get the dip in July, I mean in September, but remember 80% of the times you do get it, and September is always the worst month in the market. Now, if you were in my Patreon, my Patreon members, I told them, if you took the Options Masterclass, I said, yo, listen, that quad winching, you give us five to seven days, it happens. I went to my Patreon group that Wednesday, I said, yo, that Thursday, I said, hey, let's start taking profit right now to position ourselves. We took profit that morning from everything that was over 100%. They took profit literally by one o'clock, the market was going down. Friday, the market was way down. Monday they got up, it was like, damn. But guess what? We came right back out of that, like Tuesday or something. Wednesday, I said, hey, yo, there's no new plays. Here, add these. Boom, 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 boom. Go get back in these plays and get them here at these prices. Not in better position, right? Well, Trap, why didn't I have to put any new plays in like that? Well, because the old plays that we had put in probably two weeks prior to Kawhi Winchin, they ran up and then they pulled back. So everybody who missed those plays were able to now get back in and still now they see the come up, right? So I know a lot of people are not gonna understand it. they're gonna talk a lot of crap. Man, he don't know what he's talking about, but again, I want you to understand something. I'm giving you, I'm talking to you from a perspective that is 100% contradictory to every book they've read, every video they've seen, every course they've taken, every mentor they've been to. So of course what I'm saying not gonna make sense to the people who are, who've been in the game for some time, right? And, and that's okay, so I won't defend that against those people, right? But I'm just giving you my perspective and what has made me the most money over the last two years and how we turned the account from 400,000 to now four million dollars plus and from 2022, right? So, and it's using the same strategy. So, once you figure that out, you say, all right, Trap, I understand July, first week of July, and I'm giving you this for free. 
I could easily just say, no, nah, I'm going to teach this to my people, my Patreon. I can teach this to people in Travis Anonymous. Like, I want everybody to freaking eat. You know, yep, I do got an options course. Yep, I do have a Patreon group that we making a whole bunch of money in. So far, we've made six millionaires in that group. So far, we have maybe 60% of the group have made six figures out of that, right? And we have over, like, we have a lot of people in there. I'm, I feel a lot of pride in that. Right, but also I can still help them make money and I could come here and give y'all some game for free that we do on the channel and still help you make money. You know what I'm saying? Of course there's a different level of content, but you should be able to use this. All right, so we're gonna set that date like, all right, late July, second week of August, fourth week of August, and then let's go into September, like okay, with our antennas up. Now, last year it hit me September 2nd. Right, but remember that third week of September is gonna be the quiet winching week. So you're gonna have a volatile month and you're gonna have a quiet winching uh, uh, month as well. So that's gonna really give you an opportunity. Now, the thing that happened to us in last year was right on top of that, we went right into this war dynamic. So literally in the Patreon, we sat in the red for, I wanna say six weeks. We sat in the red from September, three weeks into October. Now, let me give you an idea what we did. ABGO, Broadcom, right? We saw this play, I said, hey y'all, this is it. The play went from 976 to 933. I, I had just went on the Patreon, I said, listen y'all, we not making no plays in September. But when I saw this play go down 30 something dollars, I was like, I couldn't resist that. I'll be honest with you. Especially because they had a good earnings, they had a good, they beat earnings, they beat revenue, they had low expectations, low guidance. So I said, yo, I gotta get this. So we got eight contracts at, at 933 with a $1,000 strike on it. That was in September. I think I had to play till March, right? Like a six month play. Now it went from 933 all, and this was literally September the second. <laughs> literally, I'll never forget this. I was sitting on the curb at Smoothie King, like, yo, I can't. I'll wait for my daughter to get out of uh, gymnastics. So we watched it go from 9:33, from 9:76. We got it in 9:33. Between September second and October the fifteenth, it went from 9:33 to 7:97. We watched it. We just looking at it. So I had to meet a couple calls on the Patreon. I did like a couple Zoom calls with them. I said, listen, y'all, we not gonna panic right here. Here's what we're gonna do, right? Along with some other plays. I said, don't panic, but this was the one we really in heavy. I said, don't panic, y'all, here's what we're gonna do. I took the L at 976, at 797. I lost 80 grand. I said, but listen, y'all, nothing has changed about this company. It bounced. I said, look at the 10 year note. I said, when the 10-year note hits, because they had war, there's a lot of pressure on the 10-year. I said, when the 10-year comes off that 5-1, we'll be okay. We had hit 4-7, had hit the 5-1. It bounced from 5-1, it got back to 4.7. When it got to 4.7, ABG was at 8.13. I say, now nah, we get it. I say, now nah, we get it. Because the 10-year went from 5-1, Two four seven, it was increasing, well decreasing. I say now nah, we get it. So here's what we did. We got in at eight thirteen. It was the fourth week of October. That play gave us. We didn't get out of this play till the company was worth. It was a twelve hundred dollar stock. We had got like the percentage on it was over six hundred percent. I wound up getting. I wound up going from eight contracts to fourteen contracts. It went. I think the profit on it was something like a hundred and something thousand, two hundred and something thousand dollars. We got to a hundred percent. We sold half of it. We sold it, we had seven, then I chopped it again to three, then I chopped it again to one, and I let that ride. And then we wound up getting into it again. Okay, trap, why did you tell me all that? Well, because we understand that September, here's how I feel we're gonna roll. I feel like if we position ourselves in July, understand what three to four countries we really wanna do option plays on, watch those prices, between late July, August, August, September. If you have, and you gotta be, this play is gonna, this 
September is going to give you such an amazing opportunity, but you got to set yourself up for it. It's kind of like a boxer, right? What a boxer does is one of the, what a great fighter did. I'm going to use Tank for example, right? Um, with the last fight he just had. Nothing against Frank Martin, man. Frank Martin, amazing fighter, bro. But Tank did tell him something. He said, you, you took this fight a little bit too early. He said, you should have waited a couple more fights. And the reason why Tank told him that is because you haven't faced anybody that probably has the ring IQ and the ability to take the data in like me. And that's cool. I get we young. We feel cocky. We feel like, man, I'll whoop your we feel like that happens. All of us going to take some whooping sometime. I've taken them before. The market, the market was tanking. I was Frank Martin before. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. So here's what happens. Literally, five out of seven rounds, the judges had Frank Martin winning. Going into round eight. But what happened was, if you, you listen to Tank in round six, seven, he told us, Tarner, I got it. Don't worry about it. That's nothing. He said, I got it. Round seven, round eight, he knew he downloaded the information. But it took him, I said I was gonna say, it took him seven rounds to download the information to see who he was up against. All right, so I want you to take July and download the information. As you download the information, what happens is, now watch this, you don't even gotta come up with strike prices. The strike prices for you gonna be the previous prices somewhere that the stock already hit. Why? Because the stock already showed you that it's familiar with that space. Oh my. The stock has already showed you that it is familiar with that space. Now, here's what we do know. 83% of the times during an election year, the stock market finishes in positive territory. The second half of the year is positive. Let me, let me give you more context. 83% of the times in an election year, the second half of the year is positive. That's what we like. So now that's another piece of the data that you need to download in this heavy, in this fight we fighting, right? So that allows you to say, okay, this allows me to be aggressive, right? Well, because I know September is the worst month based on data. Don't say this don't always happen, but 80% of the time, this is, a, this is a situation for me to be on defense mode. Why? Because now I can set the market up just the way I want. Oh man. I hope y'all paying attention to what we're saying right here. Right? You probably not gonna pay attention to it. You probably gonna show this to somebody who's been doing options forever and they're gonna tell you, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. It's gonna discourage you from making a play with me. It's gonna discourage you from making a play on your own. And then the person gonna tell you during September and October, he don't know what the hell he's talking about. Boom, you gonna start thinking, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. And then late October, November, December, you're gonna see me and my people making money, and you're gonna be like, damn, I shouldn't listen to this person. I'm telling you what's going to happen. Because we are going outside of the wheelhouse of the people who normally do this. So, let's go a little further. So, I want you to understand something. So, we're gonna take in this information from June, July, and August, and now we're gonna position ourselves with strike prices from here. Now, this is what I even go through my course, y'all. I'm just, you're gonna position yourself with strike prices that the thing has already revisited already. Feel me? And then what you're gonna do is, based on where the stock is at currently, you're gonna take two of those strike prices. You're gonna take two of those strike prices based on where the stock is at currently, whatever it is at, I mean, you know, in September, and you're gonna say which one gives you a better chance. And then from there, you're gonna go, you're, not, you're gonna play what's called the probability game. It's because all it is are probabilities. You're gonna say, okay, based on where this thing has been at, based on where it has visited before, and based on where it's at right now, I'm gonna take the same thing and then I'm gonna give it a date. This is your opportunity to be aggressive. This is your opportunity to be aggressive because September is gonna give you what September gives you. You're gonna say, okay, this is where it went in July. This is where it went in August. This is where it went in September. This is where it went in late September. Boom. Okay, I got these prices lined up. This is where it's at right now. Based on if the market is still, we're going to the election, we should be good. Expect they give us a rate hike. One of these will be your strike prices that you can strike on here. And if you are aggressive here, this will give you a profitable return. So basically what we're gonna do, 
The difference between you and me is I have a formula that I use that I put all my plays with, but this is somebody who just didn't have a formula. You just don't know what to do. I don't want you to do that, but I'm just showing how you put yourself in position to take advantage of what the market is going to do. This game is truly not about, this is why I tell y'all stuff like this every week. This is why I tell y'all stuff like, yo, this month is this, this month is that, this month is this, this month is that. I just put something in the Patreon this morning. I said, these two weeks in July represent this. Because what happens is the data allows us to better position ourselves to make money in the market. Right? And if we can position ourselves, the problem is we won't hit the haymaker every time. We don't have to do that. What we can do is download the information, put ourselves in position, and the market will put itself in the perfect position for you to left hook it. The market will put itself in a perfect position for you to upper cup. It will put you in a, it will put itself in a perfect position. The problem is most times we're playing so much defense based on the information that we got from other books, from people who've been in the market for millions of years, people who follow this trader and that trader and this trader and that trader. And the goal for me is simple. Do you want to be a great day trader or do you want to just make money in the market? The problem is we want to put ourselves in one thing. And so you ask Trap, Trap be doing leaks. Not all the time. Like if you're in a Patreon, we can probably count on our fingers the time we did something that was a year out. Everything is either four months, six months, eight months. Depends on what I see. Depends on what the information tells me. We even four month plays. We in some six month plays. That's not leaps. You know what I'm saying? We call them deep swings. You feel what I'm saying? So don't let people make you feel like you gotta be a day trader. Nothing wrong with day trading, but ask yourself, do I wanna make money in this game or do I wanna play with myself as this? Right? So, man, I hope this video gave y'all some context. I uh, hope this video helped you position yourself going into the second half of the year. Be patient, put the probabilities in your favor, position yourself, and the market gonna reward you. It's your boy, The Wall Street Trapper. Make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel. I'm definitely gonna be putting out more stuff. We keep on putting out more and more stuff. Uh, I love y'all, I appreciate y'all. Go to my Instagram page, comment the word B-Day so you can get my birthday sale in the month of July. Definitely gonna be amazing, man. I love y'all, I appreciate it. Remember that is not me in a chat telling you about Bitcoin, telling you about WhatsApp, telling you about I got some trades for you. If that's not me on any social media page telling you I will trade for you. That is not me, I don't do it. I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, I'm out.